Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I review items that I find beautiful and useful. For example, different fashion items like handbags or jewelry pieces. Uh, I've been reviewing also audio gadgets and uh, whenever I find something that is both beautiful and useful, I want to share what I think, what's my experience to be able to help you all who may be considering buying similar product. Generally this year I will be focusing more on jewelry I think in my collection to expand it a little bit more. So first unboxing of this year will be of an item that I've been eyeing for a while, something from a brand called Freyville. And here I must mention as well that my reviews aren't sponsored, so the brand that I mentioned today it's not supporting me in any way to do this review. Yeah, so that's just a little disclaimer. So I will be unboxing one item from Freyville and I want to of course share more about the brand while opening the package but now this just arrived from the HL today it doesn't look really nice so let me just open the package itself first. There's hopefully a nice box inside and uh, while unboxing the item I can share more about the brand itself and what is it that caught my attention. So certainly a nicer box here but it's still sealed so we will unbox it together but before we do so i just want to share that freeville is a brand that was founded by an artist in uh, 1951 and they are owned by the same family actually even today uh, so it's a bit of more artistic uh, brand and they are focusing mostly on jewelry they create jewelry from precious metals and also fire Animal. So enabling crafts are also their signature thing and they are inspired by different traditional uh, arts from different countries and cultures uh, as well as some of the famous classical art world known uh, artists like Gustav Klimt or Van Gogh, uh, Monet and other from different historical periods, different painting styles and it's never a reproduction, but they create art-inspired pieces, which usually are very bright and catch attention, unlike everything nowadays that it's like so beige and white. And that was probably the tipping point to me. I was for many years considering, well, if I order something from Freyville, will it not stand out too much and look funny? But you know, now after past year trends, seeing only neutral colors everywhere around me for, for quite some time, and myself loving neutral and white and beige colors but somehow when you see it all over the world it seems like world is suddenly losing its colorfulness its playfulness fun so that was the tipping point to me when i decided i need a bit more of pop of color and a kind of reminder every day in my own jewelry collection uh, that world is actually so colorful and beautiful and at the same time, uh, as to me, this year is more of a year of creativity, a theme that started last year and continues into this year. I wanted a piece that would keep on reminding me uh, about creative part of me. So that's the short background. And now let's, let's unseal this box. Let's have a look at what's inside together. Yeah, so it's packed nicely in this box. This is still a shipping box. Oh, so exciting, but let's have a closer look together. Okay, so I'm zooming in so that we can see the item together in the beautiful box. Let's open the ribbon. So here I can see some booklets, a lovely postcard and my purchase documents. A quality and care guide as well. What does it say here, by the way? Ah, collector's passport, <laughs> like an ID card of this item. Yeah, so you can see that it will be a homage a Claude Monet and it's uh, inspired by his orangery creations. And it's going to be a ring. <laughs> what else do we have here? Ah, yes, it's about homage a Claude Monet in different languages. So in case you haven't heard of him, it's uh, a famous French artist. And he's considered as one of the most important representatives of Impressionism, a style of painting created in the end of 19th century. There's definitely a lot to say about this artist, whom I really love. What are your favorite artists, by the way? Share in comments. 
So here we have the main box, not this big box, was the, it was just for, for shipping. So here we have the item and we will see it when I open this box. Okay, it's sealed in this. Now it's packed really securely. So here is the ring itself. Have a look. It's in rose gold. Or I must say it's rose gold plated. The ring itself. And then it's hand painted. Fire animal. Inspired by Claude Monet paintings. Especially the series about Orangerie. Which I simply adore. And can you see how many colors it is? But, but they are all combined into a nice matching series. And you see the ring has so many sides. So you can match it with something that's blue, something that's green, even some cherry color things, and even like really golden items. Inside you can see it's written it's made in Austria. And I've ordered it online because in my city there is no reveal boutiques, unfortunately. But I have tried these rings live uh, when I was in Innsbruck in Austria some years ago. The idea is that I would be wearing it on my index finger on my right hand, because this is the, the hand where I wear more of gold items. I usually wear more white gold here, and then yellow or red gold on this. So I will remove my current ring and try it out if I manage to choose the right size. And yes, I did. So, have a look. Isn't it beautiful? And then, of course, maybe it's too much to wear two rings on this hand. This is my everyday ring in Mokumegane technology. So let me remove this ring and see. So here is how it looks then. And size-wise, I managed to choose exactly my size. It's perfect. I was uh, unsure about the size because there was some conversion needed. And uh, I picked half size larger than I would usually go for, for rings like this. They are very narrow. So this ring, for instance, is half size smaller. So have a look, if I would wear something with more blue or purple or lilac, I would uh, wear maybe more this side. If I wanted to more blend in, then I would use this side. And it looks totally different, th this side. And then if we move to this. Wow, like a real chameleon. Let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of it, of some close-ups beautiful fire animal. Wow, I really love it. And it feels so artistic and pretty and such a pop of color. Of course, this isn't a very bright color, but still, uh, considering that majority of my jewelry is rather classic with uh, precious metals and sometimes stones, I have never had anything in fire animal. And it feels amazing. Let me know in comments what do you think? Is it a good choice? Have you ever bought anything from free will. I'm thinking now that maybe I should order even a bangle. I haven't thought about it from the start because I'm not really a bangle person. I, I tend to have like a watch and, and then some tiny sweets here on, on my hand, but I, I don't like to stack a lot of bracelets, etc. That's not my thing, but rings and earrings are my favorite types of jewelry. Hmm. So perhaps a pair of earrings <laughs> as a next step. Let's see. But I'm really impressed. So this beauty stays with me. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. I hope this was useful and uh, a little bit inspiring perhaps as well. Welcome to share in comments. What are your thoughts about this kind of jewelry? Do you prefer more classic pieces or do you like as me to mix both classical and a little bit of more playful items in your collection? Yeah, so thanks and see you in my next video. Bye for now.